have gathered everywhere to offer their respects to you. They ought to. I hold their prosperity in my hands. They must know that I am the source of rain that nourishes their fields and fills their granaries. Sambartaka, grant rain to those humans who perform my sacrifice. I am Indra, king of the heavens. Indra, you forget your position. You are only doing your duty, carrying out Lord Vishnu's orders. I do as I will, and I don't take any orders. Indra, I am your teacher. You have become intoxicated with your fame and glory. I advise you to correct yourself. Your pride will destroy you. Father, why must you have this festival for Indra? We must have this festival of Indra every year to please him so he may give us rain. Mm, is it just like we pay our taxes to King Kamsa every year? Oh no, Indra is not a wicked person. He controls the rains. Water is most important for life. That's why we worship Indra each year with this festival. But Father, He's just doing his duty, carrying out Lord Vishnu's orders. Oh, Krishna, this ceremony is an old tradition and we must not give it up. Father, then why don't we worship the earth, which gives us everything we need? Why not the sun, which sustains life? Why not River Yamuna? Krishna, you are right, but it is not practical. We can't disregard traditions that have been observed for generations. But Father, should we blindly accept tradition? It is Lord Vishnu who has given Indra and the other Devatas their power. What Krishna says is true. All the Devatas work under the direction of Lord Vishnu. In the Vedas, there is no separate yagna prescribed for Indra. We are cowherds. Our wealth is our cow. All our cows depend on Govardhan for their food. We depend on Govardhan Hill for everything. So we should actually worship Govardhan and not Indra. My beloved friends of Vrindavan, we owe all our gratitude to mighty Govardhan Hill. Govardhan but Hill? Indra has always the lad doesn't know what he's talking about. See for yourselves. 
the wonders of Govardhan Hill, the very life of Vrindavan. Our cows graze happily on his forest grass and give us the sweetest milk. His waterfalls and springs quench our thirst. On his meadows, we grow our grains and pick our fruits. The wood from his trees shelters us in our safe and cosy homes. We depend not on Indra for our survival, but on our blessed Govardhan Hill. But Krishna is right. We depend on Govardhan Hill for everything we need. Bless you, Krishna. All this is not due to Indra, but to Govardhan Hill. So, my friends, gather your offerings and let us celebrate the glory of Govardhan Hill. Please me with your prayers and offerings. You shall be greatly blessed if you circumambulate me along with your herds. What a magnificent festival! Govardhan Hill must be very pleased, eh, Madhu? It's a... Uh... Great worship in Govardhan Hill, Balram. But I'm also going to give a little something to Indra, just in case. One for Indra, one for me. Two for Indra, two for me. Look! The villagers of Vrindavan are worshipping Govardhan Hill. This is shocking. How dare they? I must inform Indra immediately. Welcome, Samvartaka. Join me as I enjoy the glory of my devotee's offerings. <laughs> I beg your pardon, my lord, but I bring troubling news. Hmm. Uh, don't tell me you accidentally flooded another village. Put it out of your mind. <laughs> I'm afraid this news will greatly anger you. My lord, the villagers of Rindavan have diverted your festival to Govardhan Hill. What? Govardhan Hill? They stopped my festival to worship a mound of earth? How could this have happened, Sambardaka? After all the rain I've given them? I hear they are misled by the banter of a silly boy. This is no time for jokes! I am sorry, my lord, but it is the truth. Krishna, the son of Nanda, has used his mystic powers to bewilder the minds of the people of Vrindavan. So, they choose to listen to some foolish brat instead of obeying my orders. These people have lost their minds. Now they will have my wrath upon them. Samvartaka! My lord? Go forth and inundate Vrindavan. Destroy the festival of Govardhan and destroy the impudence of the inhabitants of Vrindavan.
Indra is sure to destroy us all. My dearest Krishna, I know you meant well, but your actions have enraged Indra. We must beg his forgiveness at once. But father... Wait, Balaram. Father is right. Their suffering is due to my advice. It's not too late. We can beg forgiveness from Indra. Wait. Krishna would never let any harm come to us or his beloved Vrindavan. It is true, Mother. My love for you all is too great to be checked by Indra's wickedness. I will protect Vrindavan. Krishna! Oh, my child! He has ordered. Rage on, warriors. This storm must not cease until Vrindavan is completely submerged. Samvartaka, you seem exhausted. Sit down, sit down. I want to hear all about it. Tell me, is there any trace of Vrindavan left after your storm? My lord, your warriors have been making a raging storm for six days and nights with fiery lightning and torrential rainfall, the likes of which no human has ever seen. Good, good, good. They must have leveled Vrindavan by now. I wish I could say that, Lord Indra, but I must confess, our storms have been no match for Krishna. My storm warriors are no match for a boy? 
he holds Govardhan Hill above his head and protects the inhabitants of Vrindavan and their animals. Surely your eyes deceive you, Samvartaka. Six days of lightning must have blinded you. Bring me Airavata, my elephant. I shall ride to Vrindavan to see this miracle myself. It is as I told you, my lord. If this Krishna thinks he's some kind of powerful demigod, he'll soon learn how powerless he is against Indra. escape the wrath of Indra. Now you shall pay for listening to Krishna. Not harm you. Do not fear. up the hill by yourself? Don't be foolish, Krishna. You are just a little boy. You go out first. You are too kind to me. <laughs> are you sure you don't want to go first? <laughs>
King Indra, I see you have a lot of affection for me. Why else would you come here after I've offended you? Lord Krishna, it is I who have offended you. I have acted like a fool. I had forgotten that it is you who give me my power. I am your eternal servant, and I beg your forgiveness. Indra, you were blinded by power and ignorance. And I had to do this so you could see it for yourself. This is my mercy upon you. Such an uncommon boy has come to live with us in Vrindavan. All I know is that he is my son, my darling Krishna. Jai Krishna! Jai Krishna!